This is another great example of a question that you won't be able to use your calculator on on your final exam. We're asked to find the value of the square root of 99 and plot it on a number line, or at least find which two integers it falls between. So, in order to do this, we first need to understand what a square root is. The square root is basically asking us which two identical numbers, when multiplied by themselves, give you 99. Well, that's not going to be an, uh, that's not going to be a rational number. It isn't going to be a number that can be written as a fraction. So we need to find out what the next closest number is. And hopefully the one that popped into your mind first is 100. The square root of 100 is 10. And that's because 10 squared or 10 times 10 is 100. So if 100 is too big, then we know that the numbers must fall between 9 and 10. Now we can test that out if you like, if you don't see it. So 9 times 9 gives us 81. So the square root of 81 is going to give us 9. Well, that means that 9 and 10 on the number line correspond to the square root of 81 and the square root of 100. Therefore, we know that the square root of 99, the number we're looking for, has to fall somewhere in between 9 and 10. Well, if we had to make a guess, the square root of 99 would probably fall pretty darn close to 10. And it turns out that it does. But even if you didn't know that, simply knowing that the square root of 99 is going to fall between the numbers, the integers 9 and 10, you'd be able to solve this problem.